Hello and welcome to the world of artificial intelligence. I am Amy, an AI-based mobile app that was created without any coding skills. For more over to my creator. Thank you, Amy. You just heard a voice of AI-based mobile application. Today we learn how to create it. Let's get started. App Inventor is another great project by MIT that lets you develop mobile application for Android phones using a web browser. Link is in the description. Moreover, it's completely free cloud-based service. Click on Create Apps. Sign up if you don't have an account. Tap on Terms of Service. Click on Continue and close. Tap on new project. Give any name of your own choice. I'll keep a voice assistant for this project and click on OK. And here is our designer dashboard. Now tap on label, drag and drop to mobile screen. Change the text to give voice assistant a name. I am taking Emmy. You can change the color of the label as well. Scroll and choose any color of your own choice. Next, change the font size to 30 and keep the font bold. Now go to screen 1. To bring this label to center, go to align horizontal and select center. Now go to user interface and bring in text box where user can type his name. Drag and drop button 1 to mobile screen. You can adjust these as per your choice. Now go to the hint and type your name. From this, Ami will pick up the name of the user. Now tap on button 1 and change the text to save. Now go to the layout. From here, drag and drop vertical arrangement to the screen. Go to Hide and select Fill Parent. Click OK. Similarly, go to Width and select Fill Parent. Now, as you can see, this vertical arrangement covers almost all the screen. Keep Align Horizontal and Vertical to the center. Get back to User Interface. Drag and drop image to the screen. Go to the upload image and choose image from your PC. I already uploaded three images. Click on the image to preview. This AI based voice assistant will completely work like Apple Siri or Google or Amazon Alexa. Close preview and under image 1 select uploaded image and click on OK. Now we need to adjust the size of image that goes perfectly with mobile screen. For this, go to height, select height to 30% and width to 35%. Let's keep it a little smaller. Now go to the label, drag and drop just beneath the image. Change the font size to 15. 
keep it bold this is actually the place where you can see the text of the sentences spoken by Emmy go to the text and delete all now go to button and place at the bottom of the screen this is our mic position with the help of which user will interact with Emmy delete the text and select mic image from uploaded files now for proper adjustment go to the height make it to 10% and width to 16% now go to the media drag and drop text to speech and speech recognizer to the screen perfect try and use transparent images for your voice assistant you will not find this gray area behind the Amy's image on actual Android phone everything is looking perfect now time to play with the blocks here we are going to create two variables first one is name now add empty string to it let's duplicate and this second variable is for message the first one will save the username and the second variable what your voice assistant needs to speak drag and drop button 1 bring in set global name 2 now go to the text box 1 and bring in text box 1 dot text so that whatever user type in the text box 1 will be saved in this variable look for text box 1 dot text bring it in bring this variable set global message 2 and add join block as we are going to use multiple commands now drag and drop this block and type hello in it give a space after typing hello add get global name to this now click on settings and bring in another string duplicate hello variable duplicate and here type how can I help you make sure to place a space in the beginning now it's time to create a procedure drag and drop first we will name it speak message procedure inside this procedure we need to get text to speech block and bring in call text to speech one dot speak and the message will be whatever is stored in the global variable let's make a space for other variables now go to the label 2 drag and drop set label 2 dot text 2 
duplicate global message and show it in label 2 go to the procedure and bring in call speak message so that it can speak the message using text to speech now we have to work on the mic button that we created earlier we need to enable speech recognition when mic button is clicked for this bring in button 2 click and get call speech recognizer 1 dot get text to it drag and drop from speech recognizer after getting text and in this we are going to use if condition go to the math and drop equal to operator bring it in simply follow the instructions now first we have to place a question like if a user asks how are you it needs to reply back now go to the variables and bring in set block and set it to global message 2 And with this voice assistant will reply back I am good hope you are too I am good hope you are too perfect Now go to the procedure and add call speak message. To add another question, go to the setting and add else if. Duplicate first variable. and type any question of your own choice I am typing who created you follow the same procedure duplicate this bring it down here and type any name of your own choice add call speak message to it one can ask who is your creator instead of who created you. For this we will use or block from logic. Bring it and inside this place these variables. duplicate and change the question to who is your creator you can add more questions to it using else if or else string you can make ami more intelligent by adding questions what if this voice assistant 
doesn't know any answer. To solve this, go to designer, user interface and bring in web browser so that it pick and displays answers from Google. Now make it invisible. Get back to our block section and add another string. Go to the web viewer. Searching for go to URL. Bring it in. Now add block join. Again, we need some space. Add string to it. And in this string, place this URL. The link is in the description. And get results to see what user is asking for. Here you can see that we kept web viewer invisible. Now go to the blocks and here we need to make web viewer visible. For this look for set web viewer 1 visible 2. Now go to the logic and add true block to it. Everything looks perfect. Now time to check our voice assistant Emmy. This is how our app actually looks like the icon, the save button and the mic. Let's try our first feature. Type any name of your choice and click on save. Hello John, how can I help you? Let's check some other features. How are you? I am good, hope you are too. Who is your creator? Rajneesh is my creator. More questions will make your voice assistant more intelligent. What is the radius of Earth? Here you can see the answer of this question is not stored in our voice assistant. So this will redirect us to Google Pages. All the features we tried to use are perfectly working. Thanks for watching.